we have the second tip to help guinea pig love you more and trust you more. So if you have a guinea pig like Peanut, they will climb right onto you. As if you're like just a mountain that needs to be, you know, conquered. The topic is six signs your guinea pig loves you and five tips to gain their trust and bond with guinea pigs. Our final goal is to have guinea pig approach you voluntarily you have to make sure that they familiarize themselves with your smell. Congratulations! Now you can move on to level two. The second sign the guinea pig loves you is guinea pig approaches you voluntarily and licks your hand. When the guinea pig builds enough trust towards you and they love you even more than before, then they will come voluntarily to lick you. And you can think of this as guinea pig giving you a kiss on the hand. You know, they sometimes lick another guinea pig to help them groom and that is the sign of affection. Of course, they might come for because they're not sure what this is, they want to taste it, you know, that's fine. But even then, it's showing you that they trust you enough and they don't see you as a threat. So it's a very good sign. I would consider this level two compared to if level one was they don't run away from. You. After the adjustment period, that I talked about, if the guinea pig never came to you voluntarily, then don't worry. We have the second tip to help guinea pig love you more and trust you more. We're gonna call this vegetable and treat method. Guinea pigs love eating. They love vegetables. They love treats. Fastest way to their heart is by satisfying their tummy. So, the best thing is vegetable. Obviously, vegetable is healthy for them, not too much. We actually have a video that talks about safe vegetable for guinea pig and meal plan, vegetable plan for guinea pigs to make sure that they get enough nutrients. So first thing you do is prepare some vegetables, bell pepper, red leaf lettuce, cucumber, celery. Make sure you chop it into very small pieces, small as in even smaller than um, the pea flake size, crushed pea flake size here. So like the best is if it's smaller than your fingernail. You don't have to do this, but the reason I'm suggesting you to have it in a very small pieces is that that way every single piece is a bite size. You give it to them and then once they're done, they have to get another one if they want to eat it. So there will be more contact between you and the guinea pig. This will help you kind of positively correlate your hand with some positive experience more often than just be giving one big chunk one time. Here's what you do. So you have a bunch of like small pieces. You have a guinea pig and if you have gone through the first step successfully where the guinea pig thinks of you as not a threat, then if you have a vegetable, they will come to you. So you take a piece, you give it to them. They will come to you slowly. Maybe they are cautious, but they will come to you. And once they eat it, you know, just, just wait. Wait until they're done. Once they're, you feel like their mouth never stops moving, then you give them another piece. Wait a little bit, give them another piece. So the reason we wait in the middle is to purposely make guinea pig become slightly impatient. You keep doing this maybe three times, maybe five times, maybe 10 times, it depends on the guinea pig, but eventually they're going to be impatient. They're like, this is so good. Why are you giving, to, giving it to me so slowly? Give it to me faster. Give it, give me more. That's what you want. You give to them, let's say they wait. And if you still have your hand here empty handed, that's when they might come and start licking your hand or nibble at your, you know, your finger to let you know that they want this thing faster. As soon as they show that sort of sign, like let's say the guinea pig started licking you for the first time, or maybe they even have their foot on your hand. If they do it, then give it to them right away. Positive reinforcement, just keep doing that. And they will know that by licking you, by putting paws on you, or by nibbling at you, not, not biting, biting is something that you don't want to encourage. If they're not showing it, you still give it to them, but wait just that one second before giving it to them. With the same method, you can also use the treat. For example, the pea flake 
Guinea pigs love pea flakes. They're a really popular treat. If you use a treat, it might actually be even easier to get close and start bonding with your guinea pig because they love it more for the taste. Problem is pea flake or any other treats out there, make sure you don't overfeed them. I know you want to bond with your guinea pigs, but first thing as a guinea pig parent is you have to care about their health. So for example, pea flake, don't feed more than two pea flakes. If you're trying to use a little bit more to win their heart, maybe three, but never exceed three. That's just my recommendation. Through this vegetable feeding or treat feeding, you spend a couple days or maybe even within an hour, you're going to win their heart. And now you have beaten this level two. Now you're ready to move on to level three. Congratulations. So level three. So, so the third sign that guinea pig will show you if they love you is they will start to freely crawl on you either on your hand when you're feeding or even they will come on your lap voluntarily if they're already doing it you know just skip to our level four but if they are not doing this yet I'm going to share a tip so that they will do this to you. Tip three is called interactive floor time. As you may already know, guinea pigs need floor time. Unless you're giving them a whole room, like someone, um, <laughs> if they're in a cage, you know, two by four for two, two guinea pigs, recommended cage size, or even bigger, two by five, two by six, Unless you're giving them the whole room, you have to let them roam and explore the space. It could be 30 minutes to an hour every day. This will help them exercise, stimulate their brain, and so they're always mentally happy as well. The reason I'm calling this interactive floor time is during this floor time, I want you to actively interact with guinea pigs. First thing you have to do is, for the floor time in general actually, is make sure they have soft flooring so if you have a carpet you know that's totally fine if you have an area rug or rug in general you know that's totally fine too guinea pigs tend to be less active on the hard floor because it's cold and slippery if you have carpet or area rug but you're afraid that they're going to pee on them which is most likely going to happen in that case you can have like a um, pen like a small pen so that you can enclose the area but of course much bigger than the cage since this is the whole purpose is giving you a floor time so that you have space to explore and within that area um, make sure you put some you know, guinea dead liners so that they can pee on it and your carpet is not going to get ruined if you have the hard floor you can just put a guinea dead liner directly on it same thing for this interactive floor time i want you to sit on the guinea dead line. For example, if you have a carpet around, you can put a guinea dead liner in the middle and you're going to sit right in the middle. Because the guinea dead liner's fleece, um, the high quality fleece is super soft and versus the carpet, even though they are soft compared to the hardwood, it's still going to be some sort of irritation on their foot. So they are always going to prefer um, the liner over the carpet in terms of texture. So by you sitting right on it or having the liner right in front of it, they will know that they come close to you and they're going to feel more comfort. So positive reinforcement. And on top of this, we're going to do something similar to what I talked about for the vegetable and treat method. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to have small vegetables ready, except this time you're not going to give, them, give it to them in the cage. Now you're going to sit on the floor with guinea pigs on the same level. You're going to try to lure them into coming towards you. If they're starting from far away because it's their first time um, doing floor time, they're nervous. Take your time. Maybe it'll work next day, maybe the day after. But just keep luring them with the treat. Keep them one by one. After that, waiting that one second that I talked about last time, um, you're going to give them so that they're gonna come closer, 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 closer to you. Once they come close enough, make sure your you know, hand is really close to your body. So almost only way to reach the vegetable for them is to climb onto your lap. So some guinea pigs are very different from others. So if you have a guinea pig like Peanut, they will climb right onto you. As if you're like just a mountain that needs to be you know, conquered. 
they'll just climb right onto you. They'll crawl all over you, trying to get the veggies out of you. But some get uh, more guinea pigs though, they're going to feel a little bit shy um, and they want to make sure the floor that they step on is completely secure. In that case, take your smaller guinea that liner without the pocket, just put it on your lap and make sure it's kind of um, tight on the edge so it's not like uh, draping in the middle. Actually, it's okay to drape as long as, as soon as guinea pig um, put their foot on it, it doesn't collapse. So you have that on the lap because they're already familiar with the feeling of the fleece and because it feels softer, they will be more willing to climb up to you. Once they climb up, you know, just keep giving to them the same method. Wait a little bit, give it to them, they do something positive, give it to them right away. Give it to them, give it to them, give it to them until the vegetable burns out. Now, they are crawling onto you. Congratulations, you have beat this level three. Now it's time to move on to level four. So the level four, the fourth sign that you know your guinea pig trusts and loves you is when they start They're just so happy to see you. They want to express their love. They just can't control it. So I'm going to share a tip with you how to make your guinea pig trust you so much that they want to Level five is almost a max level of trust, but level six is slightly different.